Hello friends in this video let's know how to make a green light to glow when the switch is on and a red light to glow when the switch is off this can be used in scada programming first let's open the image navigator from tools menu and from this image navigator we can choose the images we need in our program we need two switches and two lights in our program uh, this is a green light and this is a red light we are going to use in our program first let's place a boolean round led on the front panel and now we have to customize the switches from image navigator into this boolean round led so we have to just do a right click on this boolean round led and go to advanced and then click on customize a front panel will open with this boolean round led and so now we are going to customize this round led on this front panel i am selecting two selector switch from image navigator and placing them in this front panel after placing the switches we have to import these switches into the led i am just renaming boolean as switch and now we have to import these switches for that we have to change this front panel to customize mode then right click on this first selector switch and select copy to clipboard and then just do a right click on the led and by selecting import picture from clipboard we can import this switch into this led boolean led contains two conditions true and false so now we have imported the switch for false condition now we are going to import the other switch for true condition so we have to follow the same procedure do a right click on the second selector switch and select copy to clipboard and then just do a right click on the green led select import picture from clipboard now we have imported the second selector switch also now we can delete the switches we placed if we click on the switch we have imported we can see both the switches next we have to save this i am naming it as switch and saving it after this if i close this front panel a dialog box will open asking replace this original control boolean with switch we have to select yes and then here we have to click on save now we can see that our boolean led on main front panel is replaced with switch on block diagram screen i am making this round led as a icon and then changing it into a control by selecting change to control option and after that i am saving this vi by naming it as indication i have saved it and now i am again placing a boolean round led and now i am going to customize this boolean round led with a red and a green light from image navigator so i have to do a right click on this boolean round led and then go to advanced and select customize so a front panel has opened with this boolean round led here we are going to customize this led with the red and green lights so we have to choose the images from image navigator i am selecting a red light and a green light i am placing these lights one by one on the front panel and then i have to customize these lights into the led as i did before with the switches i have placed both the lights and now i am going to import these lights into the boolean led i'm changing this front panel to customize mode and then i am importing the red light into the boolean round led for its false condition after importing i'm just dragging the light i have imported you can see i have imported for one of its condition and now i'm going to import the green light for its true condition i have to follow the same steps as i did before So now I have imported both the lights. After importing, we can delete the lights we have placed. So now we have to save this front panel. 
I am saving this by naming it as light indication. After saving, if I try to close this front panel, a dialog box will open asking replace this original control boolean with light indication. I have to click on yes and save. And now we can see that the boolean LED that we placed on our main front panel has been replaced with red light and green light. And now I am renaming this boolean as indication. Now on block diagram screen I am making this boolean round LED as an icon. And after that I am connecting this switch boolean LED to the light indication boolean LED. For continuous execution I am placing a for loop function from structures. Since we don't know the number of iteration, I am replacing this for loop with while loop. To give stop condition to this while loop, I am connecting a control. As soon as we connect a control to this button, we can see a stop button placed on the front panel. We can move it and place it wherever required. Now I am executing this program. When the switch is in on condition, green light glows. When we move the switch to the off condition, red light glows. And when we move back the switch to the on condition, green light glows. So in this video we have seen switch and light indication. In our next video we can see the next topic. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and support. Thank you.